today we're going to go over how to test your uh, pump capacitors. Now it doesn't matter if it's a run capacitor or a start capacitor, pretty much the same. We're not going to get into the that. So we're just going to show you how to test it and if it's failing or going to fail or if you have a problem with your pump, uh, it's a good thing to test. So I'll link these, uh, I'll link some testers on the bottom. This one's a really good one. But uh, it's a little bit more money, but if you if you use it enough times, um, it's, it's great to have, I'm telling you. Um, you'd be surprised how many times you use it. So once you get the capacitor off, I'm just showing you how to test it. I'm not showing you how to take it out or where it is and stuff like this. Um, usually it's on top of the pump or in back of the pump. So sometimes you see the little hump in the back um, or on the side or wherever. So we take that out, we're going to test it. Okay, so when you first take it out, now it could hold a charge up to about five minutes. So what you're going to do, as soon as you get it out, you're going to take a screwdriver and you're just going to put it across the leads. Don't worry, it's not going to spark or nothing. So what that does, it just pops the charge off. Okay, so you can, get, you can when you touch it, if you touch it the right way, you can get this little zap out of it. So just put it across so we lose that charge. Okay, so we're good to go. So what you're going to do is we're going to test this one first. So it doesn't matter what leads go on where, black, red, whatever. Okay. So for this particular one, we just hold it down and it shows open. Now, if it says open or closed, it's a bad capacitor. Now it should have a number in it and then we can compare the number here. So here it's, um, it's a five UF. So if we pushed it and we had a one, we know it's failing. Okay, now you wouldn't test it otherwise if you knew there was already a problem. So more than likely it's going to have an open or closed or like a one. Okay, maybe your pump's not turning on or not heating and just whatever. <clears throat> so this one here is a dead one. Okay, this one here, visually, this type here, you can kind of see, this is a brand new one, this is an old one. You can see the difference. You get this oil that's inside there. I don't know exactly what's in it, but it's almost like an oil. So a lot of times you'll see these uh, ring, the ring around here, this ring, you'll see it pop right off. And that's what's trip. Usually that's what's tripping is that uh, this pump, it, this capacitor, this ring pops off and then it just leans itself against the two leads and just pops the breaker. So if you see that, you have to replace it or any type of oil. Um, not a good indication. It's not very often you see it, but where it sits in the, you know, on top of the pump or on the side of the pump or in the back, um, on, the, on the outside, before you even open it up, you'll see some kind of oil um, coming out if you touch it and it's like really oily. So if, you're, if your pump's tripping the breaker, if you find out that your pump's tripping the breaker, do these tests. If you visually see it, test it or sorry replace it because you don't really have to test it you know it's going to fail or it has failed okay so we're going to test this one i know this one here is still good but so this type has a range okay so this will go back to this one this one here has one just five uf some of them will have a range between 5 and 25. That's, it could run. So that one's at 55. So you look on here and um, this is 125. So we know it's, um, like this one's a brand new one too. So you can try it. Um, but I think it's a dead one. Now this one here, it's definitely dead. Like it's, it should be changed, sorry. Let's test this one here. So I know this one's 145, but <laughs> it's uh, visually, you know it's gonna fail soon. Um, so this one's 145 on the side. There's a range 125 to 145. So we're good, like 136. Um, so, but I would, anything visually, if you see that, the ring popped off or any oil or anything like that, 
cha change the capacitor and all information is right on it. Sometimes this um, rubs away. So you, you're going to have to get all the information off that um, pump and you're going to have to phone a, a pump guy and see if he can find it for you. Because a lot of times you'll phone these places and say, hey, I have this pump. They have no idea what capacitor it is because it really doesn't apply from what the pump name is in the front because there's two people that put it together in manufacturing. So you got the, the, the guy who builds the motor in the back, a company that builds the motor, and then you have the plastic piece where the water all goes in and, and flows. So basically it's two different companies, right? The, so the company that puts the wet head together to the motor is not the same guy usually um, that builds the motor in the factory. The motors just go to the to uh, say Hayward or Pentair or whatever, and then they take that plastic piece and they, they assemble it and everything. They'll have all kinds of pumps. Best thing to do is phone any any uh, pump repair guy and uh, talk to him. The guy, does, you know, anybody that does pools or hot tub um, pumps. So those are the guys you want to see. Now, if you have to do anything else, same thing, if you have to repair your pump, because it's always cheaper to try it. If you can find somebody that can repair your pump, it's way cheaper than actually trying to buy the pump nowadays. Because a lot of the little parts, they come over from overseas. <clears throat> so they got to jack the prices up a little bit to make some money. So if this video helped you out at all, um, again, I'll link on the bottom this capacitor uh, tester here and I'll um, I'll send you another I thought this was the tester but this is for a tester for something else <clears throat> but I'll link another uh, multimeter on the bottom just for measuring capacitor uh, capacitance so this one's really good to have a little expensive but I'll link another one on the bottom now if this video helped you out subscribe to us there's videos out coming all the time maybe something else will help you out with the pool or uh, or hot tub okay and we'll see you in the next one